Hello, my name is Dennis and just a few months ago I was sure I wasn't made for diving. I had terrible pain in my ears if I emerged more than one meter and of course I had no idea about the equalizing. And just for 6 months I could dive close to 15 meters, my personal best of breeze hold is 4 minutes, I can swim more than 50 meters underwater in a pool and I lost more than 10 kilos. This is me before freediving and this is me now. And I became more relaxed and more cheerful. I made it without any impossible diets or exhausting trainings, but with great pleasure, so I haven't had to motivate myself too much. Want to know how you can achieve the same or even better? Please subscribe to this channel. We will learn together to dive better and deeper. I will try various methods and trainings from different schools and instructors. And in case of success, I will share them with you in details. It took a while to prepare this video, being honest. There was always something more urgent to do. In this video I want to introduce myself and set goals for this 2018's year. My freediving experience is 3 seasons of very occasional dives, maybe 5 or 6 per season. But the most productive time was last 6 months when I decided to get Paddy Freediver certificate. And straight after the course I was able to dive close to 15 meters depth. And I was so much inspired so I joined freediving clubs to train together. Also I tried to not miss open water sessions on weekends if the weather is good of course. I found many reasons for myself why I should go with freediving. Some of them I will share in my next videos, but now you can open the link above with Alexey Malchanov where he explains some of the benefits of freediving for you. One of the reasons of this channel is to show that freediving is for everyone, but you must always remember about the safety. Don't try to break your limits as a beginner. The main rule is you should enjoy your dive session. Okay, about myself. Me is an ordinary person. I don't have any special skills or any athletic achievements. I quit sports when I was 16 and got back only a year ago when I got a gym membership. When I was 26, I was involved in a car accident when I seriously injured my left shoulder. So I can still feel discomforts and pain when I do exercises. I only quit smoking 4 years ago and still eat junk food. And I drink beer. So I'm trying to say, if I can achieve significant results in freediving or dive really deep, then anyone can do the same. For me, being underwater is like a teleportation to another unexplored world. And being there without an air tank is just making you more sensitive. And what I like most about freediving is that even small wins lead to significant results, which motivates you a lot to continue your training. The same is for losers. If you eat rubbish all week, drink a lot of alcohol, don't sleep well, then you won't expect nice results when you go dive with friends on weekends. By the way, because of freediving I joined the gym and I am a regular member for a year already. I want to show how easy it is to start diving and how your life will change in a better way. Every year I will set goals to achieve. The goals for this 2019 year are Pass body master freediver test, dive more than 30 meters, develop a first version of mobile application for freediving trainings, an application which will help you with your trainings, progress and result tracking, uh, it will have a list of different trainings from different masters, ideally everything a freediver needs, something like a toolkit for a freediver, learn to equalize for 30 plus meters depths, calm down and fight my fear of the depths, save money to join a course with Alexei Mal Chanov and Adam Stern, train myself to follow a diet, also push myself to attend all trainings and to start developing the application. Good luck for all of us. The year will be difficult, but it will be fun for sure. See you!